Oh, there it is. Okay. Well. That took an unnecessarily large amount of time, and I feel very stupid that I didn't see it sooner. Now then, I believe there's a certain someone that needs evolving. time to run into one of you, but about damn time, I say. Alright. Let's check out your status, Kuroro. 64 attack, 58 defense. Special attacks, 58. Special defense, 53. Very good speed. Raise evasion and a hailstorm. Nice. Alright. Headbutt, protect, ice fang, crunch. Well, we may have to change out some of those moves. But, anyway... Let's actually get on to the video then, shall we? Hello there, guys. Now, before the actual video starts, I want to go ahead and give a big shout out to the super talented skydiving Quagga. I'm pretty sure if you guys noticed, he's actually been responsible for the one that's actually created these really, really damn good thumbnails for my more recent videos. So I just want to give you a big, I just want to give Skydiving Quabug a big shout out and a big thank you, honestly, because I just freaking love these. And also, I'll just go ahead and show you one of my favorite pieces of his, which is his Dark Team from Pokemon, well, from apparently Pokemon Y. I like it. It's just freaking good. I like the classy look and the freaking haunch crow with the fancy, the fancy as all fuck hat. I just love it. It's freaking great. Seriously, go check this guy out. I think you'll like his some of his work. Now then, on the other hand. It seems we've got quite a bit of stuff to do, apparently. But yes, we also got Kororo on our team, evolved to Frostlass. And I was also given a very interesting piece of information concerning Soul, the Sneasel. She's not going to be able to evolve until two conditions are apparently met. One, I need a Razor Fang. Or, I mean a Razor Claw, sorry. And two, she has to level up in the dark. So... That's gonna be, a uh, kind of a pain in the butt. But anyway, on a side note, if you guys want to go check out Skydiving Quagga, the links will be in the description below where you can go check out his DeviantArt. Again, I highly recommend it. Alright. Let's go chase after Emra before he gets himself killed from Team Galactic. Although I'm pretty sure it would be too dark for there to actually be death in this game. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Our team setup seems to be pretty good. We're gonna get Kuroa with some experience, get her leveled up pretty well, I would think. All right, let's go. I really hope I don't need. I'm gonna need Surf. That's nice. You're not getting away with this, Team Galactic. Oh, are you finished already? Your Pokemon ain't bad, but you're laughably weak. You honestly thought you could save the Pokemon of the lake? And become the Pokemon champion? Dream on, little kid. But it's so cold here. Let's go back to the Veilstone HQ. Oh, don't I know you? We met in Eternity City. Listen, Team Galactic is going to do something huge for everyone's sake. That's why you should keep out of Team Galactic's way. Don't come whine about poor Pokemon and other trivial junk like that. Don't waste your time coming to our HQ in Veilstone. Now, if you'll excuse me. Um, thank you for telling me where your HQ is, even though I kind of already knew that. You okay, Emra? Yeah, that's right. I couldn't do anything against Team Galactic. That Pokemon called Yuxi. It was suffering. I'm going to get tougher. It's not about winning or losing. That's not good enough. I have to be stronger. It's not enough to just want to be the most powerful trainer ever. It takes honest effort and a determined heart. Is our little Emera starting to become more mature? That's good. Well, I guess we're going to Veilstone now. Gotta love the ability of flight. 
All right. <sighs> it's Team Galactic. I should be able to handle these guys. Oh, shit. Repel was still in effect. Whoops. All right. You got anything new to say? There. Would you look at those antennae? I don't know what they do, but these are some mighty impressive antenna. Hey. Hey, it's you. I bet don't remember me, but I shall remember you. Because of you, they took my Clefairy away. My partner called it quits and went back to his old country. <laughs> I know nothing. I don't know anything about any storage key. What? Aha! You leave this to me. The storage key for entering the Team Galactic hideout. I have right here. A frontal assault. It is not possible, but we can enter their hideout. Well, will you enter the hideout? You have your reasons, yes? Of course. Very well. Inside the Team Galactic warehouse. We will meet there. Prepare the best you can. I shall join you shortly. Okay, to the warehouse we go. Okay, then. The memory serves the warehouse is way over here. Oh, wait, shit, I can get that item now. Now that I've got rock climb. Okay, this thing's been bothering me for a while. What the hell is this item? It better be good. Full incense? What the hell's that do? An item to be held by a Pokemon it is an exotic smelling incense that makes the holder bloated and slow moving. Why? Why, exactly, may I ask? Seems a little unnecessary, maybe? I don't know. Let's get inside this damn place. Oh, hey dude. Ah, hello! I have kept you waiting. I was the storage key I've obtained from the Team Galactic. ka -chunk. Was it really necessary for you to make that noise? Absolutely necessary. Yes, it is opened. I will go on ahead, my friend. Do not expose yourself to danger. Uh... And away he went. Okay. Ooh, a dusk stone. Cool. Wait, is there anything on this computer? Nope. Alright, let's go. Team Galactic will set free all Pokemon, all of nature. <laughs> Team Galactic will then own it all. But that's not really setting them free, though, you dickhead. The door's locked. Special key is needed. Okay. There's some water over there, I see. Well, so much for that. Is it, is it just me, or is it, like, really dark in here? Eh, oh boy. Well, what have we here? A trainer who's lost their way? Not really, more like a trainer that's gonna kick your ass. With you only got one Pokemon, really? Oh, level 41, Jesus. Alright. Show what you got, Arthur! One shot? One shot! Nice. Good job, dude. You lost, but you won. Nah. Couldn't read that fast enough. Thought that was an example, but apparently not. Ooh, item! Zinc! What's that do? Special defense, I think? Yeah, special defense. Okay, okay. I'll hold on to a lot of these, just to use them later. Hello. that creepy chattering and a kid like you around. The HQ's not the same anymore. Like, you can't just change the, well, character of the place. Charon? Or is it pronounced Karen? I think I'm gonna go with Charon. Ooh, type disadvantage. I'll smack him real good with a nice drain punch. Murkrow. 
Uh... Hmm. Let's go with Newt. I think this would be a good opportunity for me to try that new move rock climb. Not bad. Not bad. Almost one shot him. Nightshade. About the same damage as Dragon Rage, just because the, the level's the same. Now imagine if Dragon Rage focused like Nightshade. Oh sure, why don't you just get all cocky about it? Uh, I think I've got a reason to get cocky considering I beat you. But okay, whatever. Let's go ahead and give Newt two potions. It'll save me one super potion, which I don't even think I've got right now. Oh yeah, I got 15. All right, up we go. Hey there. I'm a Team Galactic member, but I don't even have a Pokeball. I'm the gruntiest of the grunts. It's my fault though. I still don't know how the warp panels connect. What, warp panels? Can't be serious, I gotta deal with warp panels. Ugh. Really, I can't look out that window? Or is that just a metal pan that I'm not even getting? Well, it's got four screws. I I'm, I'm getting distracted. Hello, ma'am. Who do you think you are, desecrating the halls of our HQ? I don't know, actually. I'm just a random 10-year-old kid. What is with you all having granny owls? Who oh will? Drain punch! Gotta love them type advantages. Bye bye! That was quick. A tough little trainer is what you are. Thank you! I'll take that as a compliment. Okay, I'm left handed, so let's go left. And examine the computer, apparently. Ooh! Hmm. Oh! Oh, now I'm here. Hello! I'm like this close to getting my promotion to commander! I'll impress our great boss by making you my newest trophy. Why does it got me slightly worried that. Ugh. Doesn't matter, I'm gonna beat you. You'll... You know, if you're going to be a villainous team, could you make your could you make your Pokemon less exploitable? Like, have more variety, please. Or hell, don't stick to a conf don't stick to a conformed set. Just pick a team that you really like. All right. Uh, yeah. Let's go with Nude again. So apparently I looked it up, Newt is like three levels away from evolving into a full power Garchomp. So I'm kind of looking forward to that. Get another team member who's reached their full power. Somewhat. Kroga? Hmm. A swap to Sky now that he's reached his full power. Yeah, say goodbye to your attack power. And have a nice aerial lace. Now, let's see how much HP you're going to lose. All of it! <laughs> That's one way of doing it. There we go. I wish this never happened. You and me both, Patty. It's a shame you never got that promotion. Hello. The locked doors are only open with a special key. Now, if I was a comedy relief sort of bad guy, I'd tell you. But I really don't know. Ah, uh, It's okay, buddy. It's okay. Hey, bud. 
You're too young to understand the changing times. Stand aside and let Team Galactic shape the future. No, can't let you do that. Your future kind of sounds dumb. Although I'm not entirely sure what the entire scope of your plans are, but... Eh, doesn't matter. I'm gonna charge up and try to one-shot you. Ow. Could do a little bit better. Bye-bye. Let's see if this actually one-shots you, though. <laughs> Excellent. Good job, Ardeth. And Karo leveled up. Good. I failed to read the flow of battle and your power was unfathomable. Thank you. I'll take that as a compliment. All right. Oh. Hi. The Team Galactic Credo. Everything belongs to Team Galactic. Look beyond the world. Space will become Team Galactics. Quite a motto, apparently. I don't got any. I don't have any ethers. I don't got any ethers. So I may have to switch out Ardent for a while. But anyway, Intruder Alert! There's something smelly about you. Well, the entirety of this game, I don't think I've taken a bath, so. Hey, a macro! Shit, I may actually have to switch out here. I I want to save that last um drain punch. Show what you got, Newt. Really? You're a tiny little black bird, and you thought it was a good idea to taunt a dragon. You're not a very smart one, are you? No, you're more of a dead one. That's what you get. Stunky. Well, I got type advantage here, so... I think a nice little earthquake is exactly what you need. I'm not gonna lie, I really like this. I keep saying it, I like Team Galactic's music. Almost as catchy as, like, Team Magma and Team Aqua's theme. Oh, it's my, it was my own Pokemon smell. Ah, uh, yeah, it was it's totally, it was totally your Pokemon and not me that I haven't taken a bath for a while. It was lost, but excuse me, shit. I'm guessing it was down a floor below. Or maybe I'm supposed to stand on that one switch that's actually below. Like it was off to the left side. Maybe that's what I need to do. All right, here we go. Stairs we go, I guess. Oh, hi there. Hey now, our HQ is a state of the art facility. A snot nosed kid like you ought to keep your dirty hands to yourself. Screw you, too, Mr. Scientist. Oh. Well. You know what? I'm curious. Oh. This ain't gonna do much, is it? Oh, actually about half. Not bad. Wow. And I got a critical, too. Not bad. Not bad. Kadabra. Let's see if we can get Kororo to meet him. Sure, the level difference might be a bit much, but let's just see. Thunder Wave, are you serious? Yeah, because, yeah, that's nice. Crunch! Good job, Gororo. Nice. You and your Pokemon want part of my calculations. Well. I meant to go to Bag, but I kind of went to my trainer profile by mistake. Okay. 
I think I've got a paralyzed heal. No, I don't, so I gotta use a full heal. I'm saving that damn lava cookie! Okay, what do we have here? A dubious disc? What's that? A transparent device overflowing with dubious data. Its producer is unknown. Is that like the... I think I picked one up. I think it was called an upgrade. Is it like that? I got an upgrade. A transparent device filled with all sorts of data. It was produced by Silphco. Are those two items like related or something? Because I'm pretty sure the upgrade is what you use to evolve Porygon. I think. Oh! Thank you! Another stab move! Sludge Bomb! It's actually a pretty damn good one. Unsanitary sludge is what we prefer. Good! I think I know who I'm gonna give that to. Since I've only got one poison type, and really he's the only one that can use it, I'll go ahead and give Silvatrice the Sludge Bomb. While Toxic Spikes is usable, I prefer to keep Stun Spore in case I need to capture any legendaries. So. As useful as Toxic Spikes has been with me, I'm gonna swap it out with Sludge Bomb. I might come to regret that decision, but that's okay. Okay, to get into Master Cyrus' speech, uh, at, where was it now? Uh, at the Galactic Veilstone building, which I'm sure about, and go in through the door beside the reception counter, I think it was. Uh, what did I do with that key anyway? Where's it gone? I wonder, is it the key over here, I wonder? Galactic key. All right, now I can start going, wait, can I unlock this now? Ha ha! Okay, now here's another question. Can I go through the other door that was way back here? I think I might be able to. Unless I can't go back. Warp. All right, let's see if we can get through this door over here. I vaguely recall that there was a door around here. So, can I get through it? There might be some items over here. <laughs> Excellent. Well, these are some weird devices. Well, I can't examine them. Okay, what is this? TM21 Frustration. I'm pretty sure I don't have any Pokemon that hate me, so... I could probably sell that. I mean, I don't think I need it. I don't know, Mega Moo probably hates me. But anyway, we got the Galactic Key, so now we can go to... whoever that guy was talking about. Oh, wait a minute. Now that I think about it, I should probably ex try to explore a little bit more around here. Because I'm betting there's probably some items that I missed. Then again, I did take the left path, so what if there's like a path I missed? Let's go right. Item! TM49 Snatch. Ooh, thank you. Is that it? That's all that's around here? Okay. Whatever. Well, I guess now we're just going to be getting out of here and just heading to Veilstone HQ. Well, I think I've got all the items that I could get around here. I'm betting there's like some sort of like secret pathway in the Veilstone HQ that lets me get like the rest of the items, because I'm pretty sure I saw another item that I still haven't got yet. Or at least I haven't figured out how to get to it. Alright, now then. Actually, I should probably go heal my Pokemon before I forget. That way we can make sure that we are all nice and ready for the next the battle that's about to come up. I'm pretty sure it wouldn't hurt. Where the hell's the Pokemon Center? I completely forgot where the hell it was. Like, I'm not even kidding, I actually forgot where the hell it is. Oh, there it is. I passed it because I'm a complete dumbass. <sighs> told you how much I hate myself sometimes, that my forgetfulness is what gets all my nerves most of the time. Thank you! 
Thank you. I'm going to go take care of an evil organization now. All right. Now that I think about it, I do kind of want to get, you know, Newt evolved. Oh, well. I should probably change something real quick. There we go. Nice and fixed. Now Karuro is in the team. Properly. All right. So there's a place behind the counter, apparently. <laughs> really? You kids aren't going to do anything? I just kind of walked past it. I'm kind of running around now. Okay, you're just going to repeat yourself. Never mind. Well, I'm just a random 10-year-old kid who basically opened up this very gate where you need a very special key to get into. Bye, guys! Ah. Looks like we're back here again. Hey there. Having fun scampering around our HQ, you sneaky intruder. Your trailblazing will go out in a blaze of glory right now. Bring it on! Show me what you got! Oh. Would it kill you guys to be nice to your Pokemon so they could evolve into their full power? Like, I mean, I would like to see Grunts having, like, full power teams, honestly. Actually make it a challenge, you know? Make the, make the Villainous teams all stronger than gym leaders, you know? Alright, good stat layout again. And I'm just going to knock out your other gold bat. Who's actually weaker? Because that makes sense, I guess. Alright. Ooh. Damn, it's so close. Your trailblazing streak lives on. Yes, it most certainly does. I think I'm going to go ahead and use... I think I picked up another iron whenever I was in Mount Coronet, so I think I'm going to go ahead and give that to Griff. He doesn't have that big physical defense, honestly, so I think he'd benefit from it more. Alright. See what this girl's got up her sleeve? Show me what you got! You should be tired out by now. It's Team Galactic's turn to shine. All right, lady, what do you got? Uh, okay, and another Golbat. Did, do you two just have, like, a team of Golbats or something? Well, let's just see what her other Pokemon's going to be first before I make that conclusion. And Audith leveled up! Goody. Ooh, that's a good stat increase right there. 123 attack, 124 defense. All his stats are looking good. Hound Tower. Hmm. You know what? I do want Newt to get to, like, Garchomp state, so... Earthquake! Plus, I think I'll have an easier time with certain gyms if Newt is at Garchomp level. What? I don't get it! What's your rush? Well, you're a villainous team and I'm trying to take you guys down. Alright, Newt's up to level 42. We'll swap you out. I do want to level you up, but at the same time, I don't think I can. Mostly because these guys have like a lot of poison types and dark types and I the type matchup would not be good. Hey buddy. What you watching? I won't let you just trump out research, even though I'm technically watching a bunch of freaking documentaries. This is for Team Galactic! You sir are a bit lazy. Darius. Ooh, Polygon 2. He's not going to stand up very well against my uh, you know what? Rock Smash. Uh-oh. I really hope this thing does not have Ice Beam. I 
I was hoping that Rock Smash would lower his defense, but... Oh well, hopefully this earthquake knocks him out. No. Oh shit! Oh! Oh! Oh shit, that sucks. It doesn't matter, I win. Sorry. I got whipped. I look pathetic. Well, you're just sitting here watching TV and you're not even trying to help people, your own team members that you're a part of. I just, I don't understand you. Also, I just noticed, was that a bed off to the corner there? There's people who just sleep here? Sure, that makes sense. Oh wait, hold on. Oh wait, there's a sign here, I just realized. Team Galactic TV room. State-of-the-art audio and video system for member use only. Onward to a new universe, Team Galactic. I don't know, these Team Galactic guys seem pretty good to me. What do we got here? There was a report titled, The Pokemon Statues of Eterna. Sure, I'd like to read it, why not? Pokemon statue plate text number one, from the stolen plate. The creation of Dialga, the giver of time. Oh! Oh, this is, okay, okay. The missing pieces that we didn't get to see. In laughter there is tears, and likewise, it is with time. The same time flows on, for it is the blessing of Dialga. The blue text has been extracted using a high-tech device made by the boss. Sure, let's keep reading. Pokemon statue plate text number two, from Stolen Plate. The birth of Palkia, the creator of parallel dimensions. Alive, yet not alive. Everything drifts in space. To arrive in the same universe, it is the blessing of Palkia. Huh. Interesting. Okay, so we got three portals here we can pick from, so I'll just go in the TV room first. Oh, hey, look. Oh, my God. Holy shit. Here. Over here. This gathering of the Team Galactic, what is the meaning of it? Oh, Cyrus. Fellow members of Team Galactic, hear me. My name, as I appear to you today, is Cyrus. This world of ours is a crude one. In a word, it is incomplete. It has been, and always will be, a struggle to survive in this world. We humans and Pokemon are likewise incomplete. Because we are all so lacking, we fight, we maim. It is ugly. I hate the incompleteness. That we are all incomplete, I hate it with my entire body and being. The world should be complete. The world must change. They. Who will change it? Me, Cyrus, and Team Galactic. Yes, all of you. Together, we poured over myths and exposed their secrets. Together, we captured legendary Pokemon. And now, Team Galactic has obtained the energy to change the world. The power of dreams is within our grasp. Understand it, fellow members. My long-held dream world is on the verge of becoming reality. All those headed to Mount Coronet, and those remain here. Though our missions may differ, our hearts beat as one. Let there be glory for Team Galactic! Master Cyrus is the greatest! Damn, that's a hell of a speech, dude. Whew. So, that was Cyrus, the boss of the Team Galactic. Quite the performance, no? Memor mesmerizing for one only 27 years old. He's 27? But, to make a world for Team Galactic and none other? It is preposterous, so much so that it makes my head spin. A new world? What is that? And what is this incomplete world? Very well, to investigate such matters is the job of the International Police. Of which, I'm a member in good stead, and it is my job, therefore. We shall part ways here. Take extra care, my friend. Uh... Huh. 
I'm gonna go back. There was other two portals over there. I do want to explore those real quick. There's got to be some secret that they're hiding. Because I see items, and I don't want to miss them. The Team Galactic Credo. Everything belongs to Team Galactic. Okay, it's the same thing. Hello! Ooh, a Max Revive. Thank you. I picked up a couple of those at Mount Coronet. I think I did. I'm pretty sure I did, yeah. All right, where does this one lead me? To an item! Green Shard. Thank you. Oh, um, something about the move tutors that you guys kind of explained to me in the last episode, that there are multiple, thankfully. So... That's good. Thank you guys for kind of telling me that. They're, that they each have, like, different moves that they'll teach you. And apparently I actually missed one, I believe. So what's up with these beds? Team Galactic nap room. Ensure the bed is unoccupied before getting into it. Anybody in there? Oh my god, I can actually take a rest in it? Sure, why not? Oh, at least nobody, at least nobody came by and tried to kick us out. That's good. At least these guys actually provide for their... You know, the more I'm here, I'm just like more... I'm actually starting to like Team Galactic. Are you enjoying your unescorted, unauthorized, and unsettling tour of Team Galactic HQ? Yeah, I'm actually quite enjoying it. It's very nice. You guys have very nice fluffy beds. Hey there, little trainer. You're famous among Team Galactic. The order has been issued. We get a promotion if we put you down. Wait, you mean kill me? Or you mean put me down as in knock me out? Because that can kind of be taken two different ways there, pals. Oh, goody. Um, I may have to swap out. Yeah. I've got kind of a bit of an advantage here. Or disadvantage, sorry. <laughs> Alright, um, I think I'm going to go swap out with Scythia. Go! Earthquake! Watch as the HP dwindles down. And watch as that one goes down as well. Yeah, the EXP game's not gonna be the best. At least for right now. Another Krogunk. And another Stunky. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. I'll just use another Earthquake. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and use... That would be a waste. I was going to use sub but then I realized that was going to be a waste because Newt's pretty much one-shotting everything. See? <sighs> I don't know, give these villainous teams like some like pole items, like a air balloon that lets them like float and avoid uh, ground type moves. Oh, Crow load up, cool! What do you have left? Oh, a pitiful Glamiao. Oh, well. I apologize, but that cat has to be knocked out. Not put down, just knocked out. See, I'm nice to you guys. I don't threaten to put you guys down. Let me do what I want! I just blew my promotion. I... First off, sir, no, I'm not gonna let you do what you want, and ma'am, I deeply apologize for your loss of the promotion. Just keep up the good work, you'll be fine. I'm sure one day you'll get a promotion. Oh, sweet merciful lord, why? Alright. Lefty's choice. Upstairs I go. Oh, boy. 
Okay. This looks to be pretty damn important. So I think I'm going to save, just for right now. All right, door's locked, special key is needed. All right. Hey. So, you've come. You heard my speech, I take it. <laughs> A big lie, of course. It's true insofar as my intention is to create a new world. But that world isn't for the likes of Team Galactic. I seek an entirely new world solely for myself. What? If not, it could never be the complete and perfect world. You've seen my minions of Team Galactic. You yourself must know that they are uniformly useless and incomplete. Dude! What the hell? I know why you're here. I can sense it in you. It's about Yuxi, Mesprit, and Azel, correct? You want to save them. I no longer have any need for them. I am finished with them. If your heart aches to save them, go right ahead. I couldn't care less. It will save me the trouble of disposing of them. But I must say, you are a remarkable specimen. Those Pokemon have nothing to do with you, do they? But still, you came to rescue them out of pity. Such pitifully useless emotions. It's illogical and irrational. Pity and compassion are products of the weak and faulty human heart. You were compelled to come here by such vacuous sentimentality. I will make you regret paying heed to your heart. Shit. Shit, we're fighting again? Your sprite tells me that you look older than 27. Doesn't matter. We'll kick your ass all the same. I was not prepared for that. Come on, dude. You can survive it. Right? Son of a... <laughs> I got one shot. That's okay. <laughs> That's okay. I'll avenge him. Go. Drain punch. That's what you get for one-shotting my damn dragon! Freaking asshat. Crobat, huh? Well, I'm about a bit of a disadvantage, but... Hmm. Who's got the higher speed? 88, 88, 82, 80, 108. But yeah, Newt's kinda knocked out. You know what? Come on, Earth, you can survive this. <laughs> you know, if you were wanting to confuse me, I would recommend getting rid of Super Sonic and replace it with Confuse Ray. Nobody keeps Super Sonic. Freaking Confuse Ray's better. Punch Crow. Oh boy. Hey! My last Pokemon. Drain Punch? And... Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Drill Pack! I think Artif just got one shot. Yeah. Fuck. Okay, okay, that's that's fine, that's kosher, that's cool, that's great, that's nice. Come on, Cynthia! Shockwave! Okay, good, you outsped him. Boom! Knock him out? Knock him out? Damn it! Oh god, please don't knock out Cynthia. 
kind of I'm kind of running low now. Shit. Okay. 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 Hold on a second. So much reach I can outspeed him. I see. I may lose if this pace continues. I did not mean to use Shadow. I meant to use Sludge Bomb, but I hate you. Oh, but you lost some special defense. That's the important part. Tell. I don't like using a lot of items during battle, but fish them off! Oh, that sweet experience. Whew. Whew. Interesting and quite curious. Holy shit! I see. You are indeed strong. And the basis of your power is your compassion towards Pokemon. How wasteful. Such emotions are but mere illusions. And, like all illusions, they fade over time until death banishes them forever. They actually mentioned death. That is why I have abandoned all emotions as useless sentimentality. But that doesn't matter. I doubt you will ever understand my position. That said, I recognize that you are strong and courageous to come alone. This is your reward. The Thank you? The Master Ball is the ultimate Pokemon. It will unfailingly catch any Pokemon in the wild. But, it is not anything that I require. Unlike you trainers, I do not make Pokemon my friends or partners. Unlike other Team Galactic members, I don't use Pokemon as tools. Instead, I make the power of Pokemon my own. If you wish to save the Pokemon from the lakes, take the warp panel ahead. I am off to Mount Coronet. I will ascend the mountain to its peak, where destiny awaits me. It is there that I will create my new world. Jesus. Okay. Are the beds still down here? I might have. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, it's not that way. Fuck! Okay, I should probably go save those guys. Ugh. For right now, I'll just. Realistically, I'm just going to revive Ardith, Newt, and Scythia. Just for right now. I'm pretty sure there's more to this place than I think there is. I think Arthur's HP should be fine for the moment. Mostly because he's got Drain Punch, which he can utilize to get his HP back. Damn it, though, this place is freaking dark. Wait, he said War Panel. Which one do I take? I think he went that way, so I guess I have to use this one. Hey! I am your new leader! There's nothing here. Fine then. Oh, thank you. Hey! I feel awful about what we did. This experiment went too far. I'm not sure if I can stomach with Master Cyrus' plans. There's something suspended in a green fluid. What the fuck? Wait, what's this? Well, I can't examine it. 
Ugh. Oh my god. Hey. Ugh. I feel too sickened to say anything. But that thing we made, what's it going to be used for? What? What did you make? Hey. You can see a sealed inside. It appears to be suffering with eyes squeezed shut. Those guys. Okay. We may have another battle on our hands here. Hey! You. You came all the way here just to save some Pokemon. Though it's nothing new, I can't say I understand our boss. Why would he let a kid like you come and go freely? We, Team Galactic, take all that we need and eliminate what we do not. But anyway, you've taken the trouble to come. Let me welcome you! Consider it payback for your insulting me at the lake. Oh, for God's sake. Fine, bring it on. I'll give you the same ass-whooping I gave you earlier, Saturn. But at least I get to enjoy the good music. You can survive that, Newt. This has just been the episode where I beat the shit out of Team Galactic and then Cyrus almost totally destroys me. You know, that sounds about accurate. I may have to get Nude up to level 48 soon. Alright. Swap out! On it! Alright. Source Dance. Unless he's got a confused round. Oh! You thought that was going to hurt Ardith? I'll just go ahead and use another Swords Dance. Your power means nothing. Not even a side effect. I'll show you what real power is. Hm. That's how you do it. And a toxic crow? <laughs> well, I assure you, you're not going to like what I'm about to do now. Oh shit! Okay, wasn't prepared for that. That's okay though. <laughs> I got outsped by a frog. Not sure how to feel about that. Beat ya. You're tough, kid, but I still pity the likes of you. You're the one that lost! Gah! What makes you so tough? Fine, do whatever what you want with these three Pokemon. Press the button on that machine to set them free. Thank you. But first things first. Alright. Gonna have to go to the Pokemon Center after this. Oh, you're Charon. Meh. Saturn and even Cyrus fought for me a child. Team Galactic's state of affairs is worrying. That plan of Cyrus is a top mount coordinate too. Who knows if it'll work? Hm. Perhaps another option needs to be considered. The one befitting the genius of Karen. Hmm. Press the button and set the Pokemon. Yeah, of course! Sabata so pressed the button and set the Pokemon free. Our boss crafted a red chain from crystals he took from the three Pokemon. That red chain is what he needed to shackle something on Mount Coronet. It's also apparently needed for creating something. But that's all I know. Who knows what he's planning to do up there? What are you still doing here? Well, looks like you're just gonna keep saying the same thing. Okay. Well... At least we freed those Pokemon. 
So I think they should be safe for the time being. Which, that's good. Alright. Let's go ahead and head back and go check out those other, you know, warp panels. Now that it looks like all of Team Galactic is gone. And left. Hmm. Oh! Item! Max Elixir. Thank you! And I can't go over there. Okay. And right. There's not even anything in here. Oh, there it is. Protein. Thank you. You guys got a lot of drugs here. I'm not sure that's child friendly. That's that's definitely the opposite of child friendly. Well, in that case, let's go and use this little exit. This, oh wait, we can't exit from there. What the hell am I thinking? Well, I guess the best thing I can do is now get out of here. Not much else I can do. I'm pretty sure I think that's it. Oh, yeah, I can go ahead and use these beds to heal up first. Oh my god, somebody had a doll in here. Oh my god, is there like a Team Galactic that member that I can just return the doll to? <laughs> I mean, that would be kind of funny, honestly. <laughs> There's just like one Team Galactic member who forgot her, poke, her his or her Poke doll. Oh well. I think that's pretty much everything in here. So, looks like we know what our next job is going to be, and that's going to be going to Mount Cornet. Well, in that case, I think that's probably where I'm going to end it. Since it seems like right now would be the best time for me to just go up to train as much as I possibly can. Also, I think I already got to check out what that area where Mount Cornet is, because that's where I found the Dawnstone. And I just wanted up to go up there just to see if I can get myself a Dawnstone, but I got a kind of a glimpse of like what that area is up there. So, looks like I'm gonna have to teach somebody Surf, or I'm just gonna have to swap out Vaporeon again. <clears throat> Which, uh, shit. Damn it. I missed the power of the Poke Pager from friggin' X and, for, uh, I'm sorry, not X and Y, but, uh, from, uh, Sun Moon. I missed using that. That shit was awesome. Anyway, that's where I'm going to end it. Sorry if today's video is a little bit short, but that's going to be the case. So, looks like our next stop is we're going to have to go up to Mount Coronet. And I'm going to have to grind again. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to go check out Skydiving Quagga, and I will see you guys in the next video.